Hey everyone, in this video we're going to practice setting up the null and alternative hypotheses uh, for hypothesis testing. Before we do, uh, just a quick uh, word on inequalities. So there are two types of inequalities. We have strong and we have weak. Okay, we have strong and weak. And so strong inequalities are like less than, greater than, and then not equal to. We say these inequalities are strong. Weak inequalities are like less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and then I guess equal to, uh, that's an equality, but uh, we'll include it here. So. so why did I write this down? Well, your alternative hypothesis is always strong. So H1 is always strong, no matter what, right? So H1 is always strong. So if you memorize that, uh, it's going to be really helpful. And then H sub 0, that's your null hypothesis, is always equals. Okay, let's go through and do several examples of just setting up the null and alternative hypotheses in various scenarios. So EX means example. So how about this one? Um, let's see. So I'll claim more than 70% of kids like what the kids like choco choco means uh, chocolate so the claim is uh, more than 70 percent of kids like choco so we're going to write down three things we're going to write down the claim we're going to write down the null hypothesis and we're going to write down the alternative hypothesis as well so the claim so first we have to figure out the symbol so in this problem uh, it's talking about a percentage so the symbol is going to be P. The symbol P denotes the population proportion. Okay, so, so it's more than, so greater than, and we have to turn this percentage into a decimal. Okay, so it's 0 0.70. Okay, so how do you figure out H1? Well, if the claim is strong, you keep it. So the claim is strong, so it becomes H1. And then for HO, it's always equals. So the strong survive. <laughs> so the claim is strong, you keep it. If the claim is strong, you keep it. If the claim is not strong, what happens? You flip it, and I'll, and I'll show you later. Let's do another example. Claim. Uh, how about this one? Uh, the mean weight of all... Uh, kangaroos, kangaroos is less than 200 pounds. It's less than 200 pounds. So again, in this problem, we'll do three things, right? We'll do the claim, HO and H1. So let's do the claim. We'll do the null hypothesis and we'll do the alter alternate or alternative hypothesis. So in this case, it's talking about the mean weight of all kangaroos. That's a population mean, so the symbol we use here is mu, right? It's mu. Again, here we use P because it was talking about a percentage. P is the population proportion. Here it's talking about the mean weight of all kangaroos, so we'll use the population mean. So less than 200 pounds. And the claim is strong, so we keep it. So mu is less than 200, that's, that's your H1. And HO is always equals. Remember, strong is less than, greater than, not equal to. So if the claim is strong, you keep it. If the claim is strong, you keep it. Claim is strong, you keep it. Let's do another one. How about this one? Claim, claim, ooh, how about this? The proportion, a little bit harder now. Now it's gonna get harder. The proportion of smokers, smokers, the proportion of smokers is at most 80%. So again, we'll do three things here. We'll find the claim, we'll find the null hypothesis, and we'll find the alternative or alternate hypothesis. In this case, it says proportion, so boom, we know it's P, okay? At most, so less than or equal to 0 0.80. The claim is weak, so we cannot make it the alternative, right? So here's how we do it. So if you ever have less than or equal to, 
the opposite of less than or equal to is greater than. Okay, if you ever have greater than or equal to, the opposite of that is less than. And if you ever have equal to, the opposite of that is not equal to. So how, how do I know that? Well, if you have less than or equal to, think of like less than or equal to 2. So that's all the stuff over here. So the opposite uh, or the negation of that would be uh, the other way. So it would be parentheses 2. So it would be greater than 2. So the complement or the negation of less than or equal to is greater than. So you just flip it. So what you do here when it's weak is you flip it and make it strong, right? Because H1 has to be strong, right? Only the strong survive. So H1 has to be strong. So if it's less than or equal to, you flip it the other way and you make it strong. And HO, it's always the same. It's point eight O. It's equals. It's equals. Always equals. If it was this instead, then your H1 would be the, the, the other way, right? It would be less than 0 0.80, right? And your HO would be equals, right? So you would flip it, right? You flip it. So whenever it's weak, you have to flip it. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. This doesn't come up too much, by the way. This is not as common. Usually the claim is strong. It's just every once in a while it's not. Here's an example that you might see more often. So this is more, more typical. Um, how about this? The percentage, another percentage one, the percentage of dolphins in um, adulthood, adult, oh, that's a funny word, adult, adulthood, adult, adulthood is 75%. I'm just making this up. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> so we have to do the claim. We have to do the claim. And we have to do the null hypothesis, and we have to do the alternate hypothesis. Okay, so it's percentage, so we know it's P, right? If it's mean, we know it's mu, so it's P, so it's going to be P. Then it says is 75%, so it's equals, so equals 0.75. But that's no good, right? The claim can't be equal to, right? The claim has to be strong, so what do we do? We flip it, so the opposite of equal is not equal to, so we make it strong, right? We make it strong, only the strong survive. And then HO is always equal to. Okay, so hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, you see how to uh, set up uh, various um, claims. In the next video, um, I think we'll go ahead and actually just do an entire hypothesis test, and we'll go through all the steps very carefully. That's it.